Hey folks, Joseph Sabora here. This is yet another movie review this week. But this time it's a movie that I saw a few weeks ago. I just didn't have a chance to talk about it due to the start of, of other things I had to deal with. You know, with finals and of course the start of summer vacation and YMCA and stuff. But now I'm going to finally get a chance to review it. It's simply called Shazam. It's based on the DC Comics character. Basically, the real Captain Marvel, because I know Captain Marvel's played by a female. Yeah, and we already know that story. I guess even dealing with um, copyright infringement and everything, they had to change the name. Because they had a 70s uh, TV series and all that. Um, but it's basically a comedy, but it's also a superhero film on its own level. And it had some dark elements here and there, <laughs> but in between. Which has Zachary Levy uh, from the TV series Chuck. He also did the voice of Flynn Rider in Tangled. And he also appeared in, in the movie 4. Yeah, yeah, 4, The Dark World, and Ragnarok. But he is very funny, and it's nice to see that um, you know, he finally got a role where he gets to play. <laughs> whole different type of superhero. Uh, the movie stars once again Zachary Levy uh, with Mark Strong. Yes, Mark Strong uh, who's been known for playing the villains in other, in other films. Surprisingly he was in the movie Kick-Ass. Um, but he was in films like Stardust and uh, many others. Jack Dylan Grazer uh, Asher Angel, um, Adam Brody, Dijamon Hansu, Faith Herman, Megan Good, yes, Megan Good from Cousin Skeeter, as well as uh, Anchorman 2, uh, Grace uh, Fulton, Michelle Balf, Ian Chen, Russ Butler, Jovan Aman. DJ Coltrana, Martin Billen, Cooper Andrews, and John Glover. It's written by Henry Gaden, along with Darren Lemke. Yes, based on the characters from DC Comics. And it's directed by David F. Sandberg. The movie began set in upstate New York in 1974. That's where we meet a young fatidus Savannah. It would later be played by Mark Strong. But he was arguing with his father, played by John Glover, along with his older brother during a car trip, which led to a car accident. And he was transported to the Rock of Eternity, which is a magic temple that's hidden in another dimension. And that's where he meets an agent wizard named Shazam, who's played by Dijamon Hansu who is the last of the Council of Wizards around. He spent centuries uh, searching for a new champion to take his place. Um, but it's being driven by releasing the Seven Deadly Sins. Well, you know the story. So Thaddeus is being tempted by the sins, but was entrapped in statues and deemed unworthy and wants to be returned back to Earth. So that's when we flash forward to Philadelphia in the present day, which we meet a foster child named Billy Batson, who's uh, played by Asher Angel, a you know, younger version of him. So he basically just goes around, you know, committing a lot of crime, you know, while trying to search for his birth mother because. She left him, you know, while they went to a carnival. Yeah, it was due to the fact that she was afraid after she, she got pregnant at a young age. She didn't want her parents to get mad at her for that. Plus, she didn't want to get involved. So, now um, he's being placed into a foster home that's being run by Victor and Rosa Vasquez with other five um, 
foster children, Mary Bronfield, Pedro Pena, Eugene Cho, Darla Dudley, and, of course, Freddie Freeman, who's a superhero enthusiast. And he's played by Jack Dylan Grazer. But meanwhile, we meet uh, Savannah, who's now an adult. Yes, Mark Strong who uh, discovers a way to return to the Rock of Eternity, you know, trying to find all the signs uh, directly from a door. Um, actually killed um, his female partner, a you know, scientist. Uh, but he wants to stealing the eyes of sin, and he becomes the sin vessel, which then summons all the... Uh, the seven deadly sins, which are like gargoyle like creatures. But he uses it to actually murder his brother, as well as his father, and all the rest of the board of directors around inside the Savannah Industries. Yeah. So then at school, Billy saves Freddy from all the bullies and was chased into a subway which led to the Rock of Eternity that's being summoned by Shazam. So he was chosen to become the new champion just by calling his name. <laughs> so he was transformed into a dull superhero by the name Shazam <laughs> as he thinking Billy and, and that's when the wizard turns into dust leaving behind his staff. So at home, Freddy helps Billy explore with using his newfound powers that he has. So he's trying to have Freddy teach him how to do all of this stuff, you know, by actually filming uh, all, all the uh, videos of how to fly, and use all these other kinds of powers, and everything. <laughs> and I, I know the best part of them all was actually going inside <laughs> A local convenience store, you know, just to get some beer, and and he actually take care of all the uh, the crook, uh, the crooks out there, you know, that's robbing the store. Yeah, which they shot him because he's he's super bulletproof, and then he just <laughs> threw them outside, and then they decided to try out the beer to get her, yeah, Freddie. They didn't like it, so they decided to get some other stuff instead, like some snacks and, and cold drinks and all that. So, that sort of thing. Um, so, yes, um, he gets to uh, use electricity manipulation near a vulnerability, super strength, speed, genius level, intellect, and flight. Yeah. Although he did have trouble flying, but. But he's getting used to it for a while. So Freddy's just filming all this stuff too. It became a borrowed sensation um, on the internet you know, for YouTube and stuff. Um, apparently, Freddy wanted uh, Billy to go um, back to school so that way he could pretend that Shazam will come over to sit next to him uh, during lunch and get even with those bullies, which apparently Billy didn't want to be part of it, so that's why he decided to skip and and just continue to go on playing Shazam until Savannah came by and, and was ready to attack him. Yes, all the way through the, the entire city. Started to go from one place to the other, had like a big fight and then Savannah just kidnaps uh, Freddy who was who just came by because he just I mean all the bullies uh, attacked him, gave him a wedgie he doesn't want to deal with uh, Billy anymore, it's what happened so anyway Savannah did kidnap him well Billy um, just ran away hoping to be able to find um, his mom and he did 
then he realized that his mom has a new life. So he moved on. But then when Sabana continues to um, go back to the Rock of Eternity and also tries to capture the foster kids because they already knew who he was, um, that's when Shazam suddenly, uh, well, Billy as Shazam tried to go after uh, Sabana to save Freddy along with the foster kids. And they wound up inside the Rock of Eternity, tried to um, get out of there, because they're trapped. So they're trying to find a way to, to go back um, to their foster home. But they had to go for one to which of these doors around. And once they finally made there, um, they also went all the way to the carnival. That's where uh, Shazam was uh, battling with uh, Savannah and the Seven Deadly Sins around. Yeah, they, they're they under attack. But, this is where uh, Shazam came, took the, the raft, and have uh, all the kids together, and just, just say the name, and what do you know, they become superheroes of themselves but but as adults the same way that Shazam was so now they team up just so they can save everyone in the carnival yeah and not to mention having Shazam uh, have his chance to battle against uh, Savannah and so on and so forth <laughs> So they finally saved the day, or night. <laughs> so things are going for the best. Uh, as it turned out, um, by the next day, or at this rate, when they finally went back to school, where now uh, Billy uh, um, got his promise from, from Freddy that he can sit next to him, but that also led to a secret at the end. And yes, they took care of those bullies who did that. So, there you go. <laughs> That's Shazam. It's a very funny movie. And it's good to see that DC uh, actually finally got a good movie for a change. Uh, although I haven't seen Aquaman yet, so maybe I'll check it out uh, later on. I mean, it's already available on Blu-ray, digital and all that. But... It was fun, and I thought Zachary Larry. I mean, it did kind of. It did remind me of Big in a way too, because surprisingly enough, there was a scene in the movie where <laughs> you're gonna love this. Um, when Shazam and um, Savannah actually had a battle together, and they went all the way straight into the shopping mall because Shazam suddenly went all the way down, crashed uh, into uh, many shops here and there. He actually crashes into a local toy store in the shopping mall. And guess what? There's even a scene where <laughs> he actually wants up inside the keyboard piano, just like in the movie, Big. I'm like, wow, I knew they were going to do that. I thought that was really fun. Um, yeah, it was a really fun movie. I, I, I couldn't believe it myself, too. I mean, there was a lot of hilarious moments here and there. I mean, I, I, lo I always love the moments where <laughs> where Shazam was trying his best to <laughs> to uh, become an actual superhero, try to learn all, all the, the moves coming from Freddy, because he's a very good expert at superheroes, because, yes, he collects comic books, uh, he knows um, everything about what superheroes do, for sure. I mean, at this rate, he's actually becoming his uh, his partner and companion. So, whenever he needs help. <laughs> but I love that, and the performances uh, by Levy and um, Grazer were 
were pure delight. They, they really worked together. They really had chemistry. It's very light tone, but it does have dark elements um, in the mix. But it just has a sense of fun. It, it actually did pretty well at the box office, but considering the fact that it was the lowest grossing film, it eventually became the highest grossing film by 2019. They're actually going to make a sequel that follows. Yes, they're planning on that. So let's see how this movie will, will do. Probably will do better than what it did this year because it did underperform. Um, so anyway, it and has, a, <clears throat> has a lot of good actors joining in too. I mean, they, they were all good. Um, no doubt about it. Mark Strong was actually... Uh, a very good villain in this movie too, as Dr. Thaddeus uh, Savannah. You know, because he was a guy that becomes an outcast for the family because the way his father and older brother's been treating him. Yeah, they've been treating him like shit. As, as you can see in the beginning of the movie when he was a little kid. But it's hard to believe that shit like this could really happen. Because this is where he gets the power, and that's where he becomes uh, more evil than ever before. So, and and <clears throat> of course, um, <laughs> and I, I didn't mind uh, everyone else in the film, and, and I guess I could see the story about how. Um, how Billy's been going through, I mean, having to try to find his mom after accidentally left him there, had a hard time searching for her after all these years. I mean, growing up, but, but he didn't want to be in the foster home at first because, well, he didn't want to, he didn't want to be part of it. But it just turns out in the end that he got used to it and he now has a family to deal with. But everything was going for the better. And of course you got the seven deadly sins. Yeah. There are basically, as I mentioned, the uh, gargles type creatures, demons as you may think. Which um, you already know the deadly sins. Uh, pride, envy, greed. Lust, wrath, gluttony, and sloth. It's like movie seven. <laughs> well, yeah. But they're the kind of creatures that really, uh, really work. So, and it was nice to see John Glover in the film too, because hardly ever seen him these days in movies. But. But hey, you know, it's, it's cool. And it also had a nod to all the other, uh, the DC uh, movies and stuff. Some great stunts, and interesting special effects, all of that. Yeah, he also uses uh, his power just to have all the their phone charged from everyone. <laughs> Yeah, and then one the cell phone actually explodes. He even saved a lot of people, too. Um, especially when he tries to held on to that bus that actually fell um, from the freeway ramp, which he accidentally uh, did something wrong, but, but he did uh, try his best to actually uh, try to grab the bus and try to put it all the way down into the ground but yeah everyone was like falling all the way straight into the the windshield so but he got it there he really did and a great location in Philadelphia too I can't think of anything more to say but all I mean yes there are a lot of funny moments here and there I just don't want to give away too much um, but I guess you have to see the movie for yourself to figure that out. But either way, um, I enjoyed it. 
So anyway, that's Shazam. Yeah, say the word. <laughs> and then you'll become the superhero, or maybe you just have to say it when you become Billy. <laughs> okay. And I give the movie five stars. Yes, it's just fun. I'm just Face of Bora, and I'll see you later. Bye.